Hello, welcome to How to Cook Like a Boss Without Being One. I'm Michael Hargrove, and today we are going to be making my mother's guacamole, Rachel's Wok. Now, all my life, I have called this version of guacamole Hawaiian guacamole. Uh, and in do doing uh, the, the, the pre-work for this before filming, um, I could not come up with a reason, in particular, why it would be Hawaiian guacamole. There's, a, there's not pineapple, there's nothing uh, noted, there's no spam in it, <laughs> so there's nothing notably Hawaiian about it, other than I learned it from my mother who learned it from my grandmother, and, and uh, they're both from Hawaii. So I'm calling it Rachel's guacamole, uh, for no other reason than I can't substantiate why it would be Hawaiian. The, these are the ingredients uh, that we're going to need. We'll need six avocados. We'll need five or six smashed cloves of garlic. We'll need a handful of cilantro, a half of a white onion um, diced roughly. We'll actually need jarred jalapenos. So we'll need a few jalapenos in there, but the reason we need jarred rather than fresh is we'll, we'll actually need the juice. We'll need uh, one and a half tablespoons of sour cream, um, one tablespoon of kosher salt, and half a cup of lemon juice. And did I mention six avocados? I hope I did. So this really isn't much like cooking. It's more like assembly. Um, but this guacamole gets rave reviews. And, and another reason why I had called it Hawaiian guacamole, because I don't know any other version that's quite like my mom's. So as you can see, I am smashing and peeling the uh, garlic. Um, there's no really need to mince, per se, because it, everything's going in the food processor. Um, that's why the onions are only rough cut. Because everything will go in the blend. So we'll put in the garlic. We'll put in the onion. We will use... My family likes it a little spicy, although my sister can't have major spice. So we'll do six or seven slices of jalapeno, it looks like. Seven, to be exact. And then two tablespoons of the brine that it comes in. Let's go ahead and add the one and a half tablespoons of sour cream. Closer to two. And the tablespoon of kosher salt. We'll give that a good blend to begin with. And now to add the avocado. You probably already know this hack, uh, but if the avocado is not ready to use, if it's too soft, or too hard rather, you can put it in the dark in a paper bag, a grocery bag, and that will help ripen up the, uh, ripen up the uh, avocados. There are, um, there are a couple ways to uh, preserve your guacamole, and uh, uh, the first way is to eat it all <laughs> in one setting. But that's not always practical. Uh, the other is to leave a couple pits in the container that you'll be storing it in. Uh, the other th thing that I would do, and I'll show you after I uh, after it's done uh, uh, assembling, 
is to uh, wrap the surface or cover the surface of the guacamole with plastic wrap. So now to this mix, we are going to add the avocado, all six, all at once. Now it's perfectly okay to have, it's not ideal, but it's perfectly okay to have avocados that are slightly overripe like this, because as I said before, it's going to come out in the blend. What is not okay is to have them underripe. Um, there's no way, or at least I don't know, of a way to fix that. And we give it a good blend here. Now, once we get close to the end, that's when we add the cilantro and the lemon juice. Taste it, see if it needs any adjustments. Well, that is just... Good job, Mom. That is just so good. Then, from the uh, food presser, just transfer it right to the bowl that uh, you're going to store it in. And that's it. Not much to it, folks. Uh, here is the plastic wrap trick to uh, keeping your guacamole nice and lovely green like this. You want to have a little, uh, oh, maybe four or five inches on this side as well, on both sides, uh, lengthwise of your container. And then you pick one side where you uh, draw up the or, or create slack see like that pull this side up and then with your fingers with your hand lightly press it against the surface of the guacamole now we're going to move this camera so you can get a shot of it That is what I'm talking about. And it's really fun to do. Uh, it sort of feels like, re remember when we put together Humpty Dumpty? That's kind of what it feels like. Well, there you have it. Rachel's guacamole. Uh, this seems like a lot of extra work. It's not a lot. Um, and if you, when you make this recipe, this kind of guacamole one time, I guarantee you, you will continue to preserve it exactly like this because uh, you won't want to waste a spoonful. Uh, as always, it's a, a privilege for me to be able to share one of my passions with you, especially something like this, a homemade recipe of my mom's. Uh, thank you for letting me do that. If you found value or if you enjoyed yourself, would you please shoot me a quick like? And thanks for watching.